So stem cells are what have made us into a full human being. Just imagine the kind of intelligence that's in stem cells that, that we can utilize these days. When you were born, every one in 10,000 cells is a MSC, mesenchymal stem cells. When you reach your teenage years, it goes from one in 10,000 to one in 100,000. Regular stem cell treatment actually, well, they, they've done it in rats and mice, and the result's pretty consistent, extends lifespan by about 30%. You don't know that you are aging. You have a good so. imagination. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm Dr. Joy Kong. Uh, this is our clinic of the Longevity Center. So I actually got really inspired when I first went to Hippocrates Health Institute <coughs> to learn about all the aspects of anti-aging. So I didn't really know anything about it. I was pretty naive. So that was about six years ago. Um, that's when I found that there's this whole discipline of actually called functional medicine and then later on I realized okay anti-aging medicine is all kind of offshoot and it's all about preventing disease looking at decline so um, so from there on I got really excited not only about the whole anti-aging wraparound you know treatments but also about stem cell therapy because stem cells really if you think about um, the human body well we all came from a single stem cell the fertilized egg so stem cells are what have made us into a full human being. Just imagine the kind of intelligence that's in stem cells that, that we can utilize these days. So the stem cells will differentiate into a ball of cells and that becomes a, a full person, right? So within this little person that becomes us, you know, when we grow, there's still all kinds of stem cells in the body. And this is only discovered not too long ago. People have been doing bone marrow transplantations without knowing that they were doing stem cell therapy. So bone marrow, there are stem cells. But then guess what? There's stem cells everywhere in your body, in your all your organs. Your organ has organ-specific stem cells, and your blood has stem cells, and, and your, around your blood vessel, there are stem cells. So basically, I got really excited and realized that we can capture the kind of intelligence that made us, you know, into full human beings and use life, use that to uh, to help us to heal from conditions and also to reverse the aging process. Um, so I help a lot of patients. Um, a lot of um, I, I you know, help people deal with all kinds of chronic conditions like autoimmune conditions, COPD, liver cirrhosis, um, or sports injuries, osteoarthritis. Um, a patient, you know, autistic kids. Um, patients with um, uh, all kinds of, you know, like psoriasis, which is autoimmune disease, and also traumatic brain injury, stroke, stroke victims. So all these, you know, have seen really incredible results. But in the meantime, you know, I was researching to see how much is able to reverse the aging process, and it, it's pretty exciting as well. So what I found out is that I've done presentation in different conferences about this, is that stem cell therapy Regular stem cell treatment actually, well, they, they've done it in rats and mice, and the result's pretty consistent, extends lifespan by about 30%. And, um, and even when you give some, you know, these rats, uh, so instead of starting them at middle age with regular IV stem cells, they extend their lifespan by 30%. If you give them at their human equivalent age of 75, that's when half their peers have died, from the time they give them the stem cells, compared to the mice that were given placebo, so from the time they were given the cells to the time they died, they actually lived three times as long compared to the rats that didn't get stem cells. Not only they are living three times as long for the time remaining, but they're also healthier, they look better, their fur is shinier, their spine is straighter, their, 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 their mobility. Yeah, their mobility, their memory. So it's, it's really powerful. So what I've done is that I have used stem cells on myself for the, the last five years. So every three months I've done IV stem cells on myself. So I can, I can show you guys pictures later on. But yeah, when I was 43, I suppose I was a lot younger, but really I'm a lot younger now, even though I'm 50. So I, you know, that wasn't why I, tr I started doing stem cells because I didn't know I was aging. Because when you see yourself every day, you don't know that you are aging. You have a good so. imagination. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember hearing my dad, my dad saying, oh my God, I have gotten old. He just one day, it just dawned on him, right? If you just look at yourself every day,
day, you think you're the same way. That's how I felt when I was 43. I, I, I looked the same as I've always looked, you know, what's the problem? And then later on when I did the stem cells and I, I did some stem cell facials, so I got more and more rejuvenated, I just realized when I take photos, I'm happy with the photos. I'm not trying to mess with it. I'm not blaming the camera, I'm not blaming the lighting. <laughs> Seems like yeah. photos are good. And then Facebook started to send me this happy anniversary notifications, right? Look, happy, mm -hmm. look, six years ago. And I was like, oh, ooh, why did I, what was that? You know, that's embarrassing. I can't believe I looked like that. But of course I didn't know. So it's really wonderful to see that, even though that wasn't my goal, I just wanted to continue to be healthy. I wanted to continue to be young. But what's interesting was that um, a study I found out that women who had given birth to, to children comparing to their counterparts who have not had pregnancy or given birth. Um, the women who have given birth, their brain is five months younger. And it's really fascinating. Yeah. And what I believe, knowing that there's fetal maternal exchange of, of cells, what I believe is that these women actually got a stem cell infusion from their own pregnancy. It's true. They got stem cell treatment. That's why it's common knowledge that in autoimmune diseases, um, people remit, you know, they, they don't have, they have remission of their chronic illnesses, like a lot of autoimmune issues. So, so, so I was thinking, oh, that means every three months, I may get five months younger because I'm getting a mini pregnancy, right? I'm getting a mini infusion. So then that's why over time, I just got younger and younger. So it's really fun. You know, I, I love, you know, I did, it's so fun because this is fundamental. When we, when, when we were born, we were born with a lot of stem cells comparing to how many cells, other cells are in the body. And then as we age, we just get less and less, less. I'll give you the statistics, which is really drastic. The mesenchymal stem cells are sort of almost like the, um, like a, like a, a holy grail of stem cell therapy right now. You know, maybe we'll find something better later, but right now we know these cells are all over your vasculature. So imagine in anywhere in your body, anywhere you have blood vessels that supplies blood, there are all these mesenchymal stem cells and they're all huddling around these blood vessels. So they're, they're sensing what's going through the blood vessels, but they also have all these tentacles kind of, you know, they're, they're you know, they, they send out their, their, their little feet into the environment around them so they can sense what's going on in the environment and what's going on with other cells. So they are constantly modulating and to see what they need to do. Um, if they sense something in the blood that has um, information that shows somewhere there's an inflammation or injury, they can squeeze themselves into the blood vessel and actually swim upstream into the place that the signal is the strongest and then they can get out and then they can start working in that area. So, so these are what I consider the master of regeneration. They're kind of the conductor in the symphony of regeneration. Um, so these cells, MSCs, really important cells all over your body. When you were born, every one in 10,000 cells is a MSC, mesenchymal stem cells. When you reach your teenage years, it goes from one in 10,000 to one in a hundred thousand. So you already had 10 times, you know, tenfold less capability of regeneration. And then when you reach your forties, it becomes one in 400,000. And you, when you reach your eighties, it becomes one in two million. So you can see, you're just running out, out of the engine to drive the regeneration. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> you're living it? Yeah. Yeah, because you, you know, Remember when you were little kids and you get cut, right? It heals really fast, seamlessly. And nowadays, if you get cut, it's like, why is it still there? It should have been a lot faster. It's just your body's not keeping up. Because you'd be running out of engine. And we still don't have, you know, there are certain ways of living. You know, someone asked me, you know, can you keep, you know, the, the preserve all these stem cells? Yeah, there are things you can do. But still, there's a trend that's really hard to reverse. When the cells are activated, when they start to work, to you know, start to work, and when they divide to replace damaged tissue, there's an attrition rate. So there's going to be less and less. Just you know, it's life. It's going to be damaged, and then it's you know, like an engine, a car engine doesn't run forever, right? There's a lifespan. So they may get less and less and less, even though you take care of your car really, really well. Life is is, is about attrition. So this is why 
when you do stem cell treatments, you're actually replacing the engine. So this is one of the fundamental aspects. I'm really excited about all these aspects of anti-aging medicine, you know, from energy medicine, vitamin infusions, you know, herbal therapy, and you know, the, you know, uh, you know the, the, uh, the other, other forms, the, you know, the hormone replacement, the, the detoxification, all these are really important. But I consider all these other aspects as fuel for the engine because if, if you damage anything, and if you have enough stem cells to regenerate, then you can fix whatever it is, right? But if you're running out of stem cells, and your stem cells are not working very well to help you regenerate, then you're gonna stay damaged and stay suboptimal. So this is why I'm so passionate about stem cell infusion, because I'm actually giving you fresh new engine. Um, and I've seen that over and over again. It's not just, a, if it's just a pipe dream, just, you know, according to science, this should work. And that's, you know, that's one thing. I've actually seen it in my clinical practice. And it's so exciting because I just, you know, quick story, my first patient, um, you know, here I was new about stem cells and I knew about umbilical cord and about stem cells from these you know, newborns. And I, I, was, I wanted to, to, try, to try it to try to help somebody. And then, so this gentleman who was, 60, he was 69 years old, who had bilateral osteoarthritis. So he was really struggling, struggling with his knees. And he had two orthopedic surgeons who told him, you need bilateral knee replacement, period. There's, there's no question, that's what you need. So he said, okay, let me try stem cells. And you know, I want a last, last ditch resort. So I give him stem cells, I give him IV stem cells plus knee injections because if you look at larger joints, it's better to, to, to actually put something in that joint because it's very poorly perfused like blood. So if I put something in IV, it's really gonna take forever to get into the joint space. But when you look at the knee, a large joint like the knee, the outer one third of the cartilage is nourished by the blood supply. The inner two thirds, are nourished by the synovial fluid. So if you attack from both angles, it will do really well. So that's what I did. I gave him IV infusion and I inject into each knee. And the next day he said, you know, um, I slept through the night and I haven't slept through the night for the last 40 years because of my rotator cuff injury. Because in my late teens, my car rolled over and I, it was damaged. I, I, every time I move around and try to turn over, um, I wake up from sharp pain, but I slept through the night. This is, this is a, almost six years ago, and he has been sleeping through the night ever since. I never touched his shoulder. I didn't, I, I didn't know about it. I just gave him IV. Apparently, the cells know that there's something screaming in that shoulder that needs to be, needs to be fixed. And then his knees are great. He, he said, I don't even feel my knees because it's almost six years later. He's walking about four miles every day, very active, goes to trade shows all the time, and he's standing all the time. He said, I, I barely feel I have knees. You know, so, so it's incredible. But that's just the first story. And then I've seen all kinds of incredible things with all these different conditions. So to me, you know, I know it's for real and the power of using these cells. So, so this is the, what I call, what I consider as energy therapy because stem cells, the power of the stem cells comes from the DNA it contains. The DNA is the most energy dense substance in the universe. It contains information. So this information is what we're counting on. So in that sense, you know, what's information? I think information is energy. We don't, we don't, we don't know how a human being is formed. Where does that come from? How does the DNA know? But it knows. So we're uting, utilizing that kind of intelligence and intelligence is energy. So I was like, I'm infusing energy into you. This is, this, I'm giving you intelligence. This is the first time in human history we're actually using intelligence of the human body to heal the human body. We're infusing intelligence itself. Um, you know, in the past, we've done herbs, um, we've done, you know, like chemicals, or group of chemicals, which is, you know, herbal products. Um, you know, energy medicine is very interesting. Um, but that's you know helping with with intelligence. So all that I think of as things that that the DNA and the cells need to thrive. 
um, and all that are important. This is why I found the American Academy of Integrative Cell Therapy. So integration is really important because even though I'm passionate about stem cell therapy, I don't say this is end all be all, then you can live whichever way you want and stem cell therapy is gonna help you with everything. No, because our body is so complex. Life is so complex. So you wanna address every factor. Um, so this is why you know I'm, I'm doing a podcast. I'm inviting all these incredible people to be on my podcast so I can learn from him, so I can share knowledge because I know how complex it is. And it's not, you know, I'm not, you know, a, you know, superhero because I've got stem cells. You know, I, I want to work with everybody so we can, you know, really improve the human condition. Yeah. So which brings me to introduce an expert in human condition, Dr. Clement. Who you you've been doing this for how many years? Fifty two years. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. And you still look so young and vibrant. I just I've always been amazed. Yeah, so maybe you can come here and share us some of your secrets. Well, thank you. <laughs> Aww, 